Stoke City then. So here's some football specific BTEC and PE videos for you. So what are the most important components of fitness for a central midfielder in football? Discuss the fitness components and the appropriate training methods associated with them. You could have listed the following fitness components that are important for a central midfielder. Aerobic endurance due to moving around the pitch for 90 minutes. Speed to close down attackers, find and create space, lose a defender or beat an opponent to the ball. Agility to evade defenders or to defend against attackers. Coordination to perform the different techniques with the appropriate timings. Good balance is also required to help with agility. You then should have gone into detail about how you train some of the highlighted fitness components. You would train aerobic endurance by continuously running, cycling or rowing, using interval training or setting up a fartlek exercise. Footballers can also maintain their aerobic endurance by playing in longer condition games. Players could also improve their speed by using interval, hollow or acceleration sprints. Agility could be improved by specific agility drills, such as using an agility ladder, exercises similar to plyometrics like hurdle jumps, or a training technique called SAQ, which stands for speed, agility, and quickness. So a level one answer, which is worth one to three marks. You should have identified one fitness component. You didn't include specific details about why the fitness component is important, and you included one training method with little detail. A level two mark answer is four to six marks, identifying two to three fitness components, including some detail about the importance of each component, and then talking about two to three training methods with a basic level of detail for each. A level three mark answer, which is seven to eight marks, you've included three or more fitness components, you've used extensive detail about the importance of each component, and you've included good detail about each training method and linking it to the fitness component. Discuss a variety of tests that a football coach would use when assessing a team's fitness. Highlight the advantages and disadvantages of each test. You could have talked about the multi-stage fitness test or forestry step test for aerobic endurance. The 35 meter sprint test is used to assess speed. The Illinois agility run tests the participant's speed and agility. These are the main advantages and disadvantages of each test. But for a more detailed account, refer to your own notes, textbooks, or the fitness testing playlist on this channel. The multi-stage fitness test and forestry step tests are excellent when testing large groups are fairly easy to conduct and are cheap. However, they are only an estimation of VO2 max and the reliability of the data can vary depending on the conditions and the motivation of the participants. These would suit football coaches as they can easily test the entire team on a regular basis as well as being cost effective. The 35 meter sprint test is again a simple and cheap test to perform, but the accuracy of the timing could be an issue. Another disadvantage would be having to test individual players over three separate occasions and would therefore take time to get through the entire team. The Illinois Agility Run is a simple test to assess the player's speed and agility. It can be performed anywhere with minimal equipment, but it is important that distances are measured correctly and the accuracy of timings could also be questionable. A football coach should ensure the test is conducted in similar conditions when being retested to ensure reliable data. So a level one mark answer, which is one to three marks. You've only identified one test. You highlight only one advantage or disadvantage, and you only show a basic understanding of what the test is evaluating. A level two mark answer, which is four to six marks. You've identified two or three tests. You've explored some advantages and disadvantages, but it lacks accurate detail. Some understanding of what the test is trying to achieve is displayed. 
A level three mark answer, which is seven to eight marks. You've identified two to three tests. You've explored extensive advantages and disadvantages with accurate detail. And you've shown good understanding of what the test is trying to achieve and how it does that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, click that button up there. If you want to watch another video, click that button there. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, click on the links in the description below.